Hi, I'm Jonathan Paul, and welcome to this trailer commentary and review for 20th Century Fox's upcoming science fiction action film, the clumsily titled Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. This is the eighth live action installment in that franchise, which of course began with Charlton Heston's classic in 1968. This one is a sequel to the 2011 reboot directed by Matt Reeves. None of the human cast returns, but thankfully, Andy Serkis is returning for more motion capture work as the lead ape, Caesar. <laughs> I certainly hope that Circus finally gets a nomination, or maybe even a win for his role in this film. He has been at the forefront of the mocap business for a long time, and his roles like Gollum and now Caesar are the bedrock of those movies, and a film that seems to place more emphasis on the apes themselves, who can speak, fight back against the humans, and teach their children arithmetic, and a movie that takes place 15 years after its predecessor. I know why you're scared. It took us four years fighting that virus, but we are survivors. Gary Oldman, Jason Clark, and Carrie Russell are the human component of this cast, all new from the last film. But with Caesar returning in what seems to be the lead role of the apes, I am really intrigued as to how this film will progress. Now that humans have been decimated by the virus, they're on their own, they have to fight back against the apes and decide who is going to be the dominant species of planet Earth. And I'm curious, with future sequels already in development, are they going to make this reboot franchise tie back in full circle with the original one? I wonder, are we going to see a fifth film that takes place in the 31st century where the planet of the apes is as we remember it from the Charlton Heston version? With NASA astronauts crash landing there and thinking it's a distant planet rather than their home. It'll be interesting to see where Matt Reeves takes this franchise. In the first film, there was a quick Easter egg of a spaceship taking off just before the virus took hold, so perhaps he's already setting up this whole mythos. In the meantime, we get to enjoy Andy Serkis donning the war paint and leading the ape army into the desolate and ruined streets of San Francisco, looking very reminiscent of The Last of Us video game. We have apes riding horseback and shooting machine guns ready to take on the humans. And although I know the outcome, I am excited to see how this big war will play out. War has already begun. Dawn of the Planet of the Apes is released on July 11th, and I'm very excited to see it, having been a fan of this franchise since I was a kid. But let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below. Until next time, thank you for watching and listening.